Hey guys, my name is Tomasz Kopp. I'm the executive producer at CA Games, working on Lords of the Fallen. So what was your kind of remit, your goal for Lords of the Fallen? Um, Lords of the Fallen is an action RPG, so we're trying to join a game that has interesting and captivating <laughs> story with a game that is driven by action, by combat, by character development and strats, pretty much. And I think the action part in Lords is more important than driving the game with the story. Still, I think we, we, we have a really cool story, but I, 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 just, I just love to talk about combat because it's, a, it's probably the most complex element of the game. And the um, most important principle and goal of Lords of the Fallen is to take the idea of a challenging game mm -hmm. and do anything we can to extract the elements of all other challenging games that, especially for mainstream players, feel like frustrating feel like too hard to overcome and try to reduce and remove them and leave the challenge at the same level. So, because we all are in love with the feeling of fulfillment, with the feeling of reward when you actually overcome the challenge. This is so addictive, but we do believe that it's possible to bring it to slightly wider audience. Not easy, and it's the probably biggest challenge ahead of us itself, but um, this is what we're after, and this is the goal of this project. So what kind of challenges have you faced in kind of walking that tightrope between accessibility and that kind of challenging element? I think the most important part is that you have to sort of assume and kind of come up yourself with a scale of things that are between challenging and rewarding and too hard and frustrating because for a lot of people it's the same but we had to sort of draw the line and try to create a scale for that and we try to identify just to give you a couple examples like environmental deaths or the frequency of distribution of checkpoints in a game or being able to stop the attack and start blocking at any given moment so th this still means that you do have to do things right you have to do your homework but you, you're you're not being punished and multi not punished but you're, you're not being uh, okay let's let's use the word punish in multiple ways for some things that you do not exactly that game tells you but you know sometimes it's enough that you learn things your own way and at your own pace so this I think it was a huge challenge and we're still working on it balancing the game but I've heard a lot of very promising things from people who have played the game here today so in general I'm really happy the immediate kind of overriding uh, reaction is the kind of Dark Souls comparison. Yeah. Is that something you guys invite or does it annoy uh, you when you keep hearing that? We're not trying to be Dark Souls 7 or 8, yeah. <laughs> but what we do believe is that it's important to recognize the coolest elements of Dark Souls because I think that there are things that made Dark Souls what it is and I, I, I never would like to deny that and, and, and deny the inspiration by these elements of Dark Souls. We just believe that not everything in Dark Souls means that this game is accessible to wider audience. Because let's face it, the truth is, as much as I love Dark Souls and as I think it's a great experience, it's a game that probably is never going to be so widely uh, played like other RPGs, Assassin's Creed or Skyrim, these games, you know, the, the audience is, is much wider. So I'm not saying that we're going to reach as much, but if we could widen that, if we could broaden that audience, man, that would be something. What do you think is the key element about Lords of the Fallen and its combat that makes it less frustrating? I think it's the feeling of progression, the sense of you being actually able to track your own progress of crafting the skill and saying, okay, this enemy at the beginning was, wow, he, he, he felt like almost impossible to overcome. But now, let's say 10 hours later, I feel like this guy, it's almost in my muscle memory. I know that there's a jumping attack or I try to roll and get behind him. I immediately know, and like you kill him with 100% efficiency. This is something that I really believe is, it's, it's one, one, on one hand, it's a goal of the project and I think it's gonna be the biggest reward for the people. What kind of lessons did you learn from having worked on The Witcher games? Uh, the most important things that I believe were valuable while working on The Witcher games when I was back at CDP, uh, it's personally, I really believe that I've learned 
a very important thing that is trying to message game and trying to show the game in exactly the way that when people go to stores uh, or to digital stores and buy it, they know exactly what's inside. So when I was working on, especially The Witcher 2, when I was working on The Witcher 2 and, and when I both learned and tried to sort of execute the messaging of the game, the sort of try to presenting and, and telling people what this game is, I felt when people bought this game, when it came out, people said, okay, this is probably it. And it worked because of that. And because of that, The Witcher 2 was a, I think it was a huge success because of people, you know, it's, it's, there was no let down. There was no, you know, the, the, there was no difference between reality and what people were expecting of that. And I'm definitely trying to, you know, break down experience in Lords of the Fallen. So, uh, and that's why I'm extremely happy today, at the first day of E3, to hear from people that, okay, this is a game that is very challenging, but it doesn't feel too grindy. Then I'm like, okay, this was in my notebook. Yes, I hear that. Awesome. So that's a great feeling. How about the learning curve of the game? Because obviously this demo we're seeing in the background we've been playing. This is a bit further on into the game, it's quite hard. So what's the learning curve going to be like from the beginning and going up to this kind of uh, tougher stuff? We're trying to make sure that the most important thing about you unlocking certain parts of the game, learning that and trying to, uh, to overcome that is you have a lot of freedom in the way that you slope your learning curve. So if you want to skip certain part of the game for now or try to do it in an easier way, you can either throw in a spell, use environment to defeat the opponent, or like in, in the case of this level, in uh, the catacombs, they are accessible quite early on in the game, but you can skip them and, and there's only around half of the game where it's actually required to progress the game further to walk through that and kill the champion. So it's, 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 it's pretty much few levels that we're trying to combine here to make sure that the most important thing is trying to set the pace at your own kind of your own way and because of this I believe that the learning curve curve is not going to be uh, either just flat or very very steep but it's more of going to be uh, what you make of it so I can't tell you whether it's this or that it's what do you want you want this okay it's, it's, yeah. In terms of, uh, I mean, being an RPG, uh, we can expect customization, things like that. Well, how you spec your character play into the difficulty at all? Um, most important thing about character customization, Lords of the Fallen, is this is a game about Harkin. This is a game about Arge, so you won't be able to change gender. You won't be able to change the physique of our character. This is not possible because this is a game about him. He's so strongly anchored into the storyline. The storyline is so much derived from who he is, what he's done, and because of that he can accomplish what he can do. So that a very skinny and small guy would probably not be able to wield a heavy hammer in our game. You know what I'm, what I'm getting at. But apart from that, all the armors, all the shields, all the weapons that you are going to be able to use, I think this is quite advanced customization of your character, especially in my opinion. So, uh, because a lot of, a lot of elements that you can mix and match. Armors are even bits and pieces of them you can mix and match and weapons and shields. Some of that will be craftable so you can you can extend that further. Some of them will have perks. So there are a lot of elements that you can try to, you know, maneuver in you. I mean this demo is very combat focused. You don't really get a sense of the story. Yeah. Um, will there be kind of choices, decisions, things like that? How will the story play out exactly? Yeah, definitely there will be uh, choices that will I mean I don't want to cheat to anybody that is going to be a, a story-driven game that branches in a thousand places. Reference, don't expect Witcher-style branching. This is not going to be that. But this game will have certain places in it where it does branch, and it will lead to more than one ending, and these endings will be significant. They will mean something that the outcome of your whole, let's say, Harkin's journey will actually mean something else for the world, for the whole world. Uh, at the end of the game, then it would mean if the outcome would be different. Is this kind of a realization of a dream project for you then? As of now, definitely, definitely. It, not only on the level what, what this game is, because I, I really like challenging game, I've been doing that for most of my life, but also in terms of I, I, I really always wanted to be part of the development team and, and, and working the way I work with, uh, with, with Lords of Fallen right now is I, I really feel that, that the whole team takes uh, an active part in producing the game and, and you know, putting what's best into what the game will be actually. 
and I I feel fulfilled. This is this is really a good project for me. Lords of the Fallen is coming out fall this year, 2014, on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One.